Hello everyone, it's Aquatic Arts and I'm going to be bringing you guys a really, really helpful tutorial mainly because of the insane amount of demands uh, because everybody has been asking me, gee, how do you make for example, if I look at my Skype, something like that and I have been getting spammed and people deleting me, people getting angry at me so I'm just going to get it over with and I'm going to go ahead and show you guys how to do it so first off, obviously Start in Cinema 4D, you're going to want to go to here, hold it down, click Tube, there you go. Go to Orientation, go to either Z plus or Z minus, just so you have, a, you have it facing this way. Here, this is kind of where you can, uh, you know, up to you, but I'm going to put in my logo. There we go, go like that. So here we go, that's my logo, I'm going to bring that in, in front, and also I'm using a mouse for the first time ever, I've always used trackpad, so if that sounds kind of different, that's the reason why, sorry if it's a bit loud, I'm just not used to using a mouse. So there we go, so now I can either choose, obviously I'm going to go to extrude nerves, drag that in, I'm going to give it a different color just so you can see it better, make it white. Alright, so now, what I'm going to do is, it's completely up to you, this stuff, like, you can, uh, you can choose to have it, uh, this, the, the tube be however you like, but I usually like to either close the radius completely like that, or open it up and put it, hold on, let me make the outer radius bigger, make it like that, so have it either fit inside like that, or just close it completely. For this tutorial, I'm just going to close it, and uh, because then I'll show you what I'm going to do later. So then what you want to do after that, you click on Cap Segments. You want to turn that up. Just so, what I usually do is I have about three uh, of these tabs or boxes or whatever uh, around each end or each corner of my logo. That really gives me a, enough space to work with later. Uh, you want to rotate it just so you see. Height segments, I'll turn that up to four, just like that. And then, you, you know, you can play with all these settings. You can put as many as you want or as little as you want. But I usually, I usually go with this, uh, this, kind of, uh, this kind of, like, shape. So now what you do is while you have the tube selected, you click C, the letter C. And you're going to see it's going to come up with, uh, it's going to change that, and it's going to add one more thing there. That's normal. And then you're going to want to come to your side. For me, it's like this because I have a Mac. It might be similar to this, but it's going to be on the left-hand side. And it's going to have... Just click on everything you have on the left-hand side, and it's going to turn it blue. So that's a good sign. Now what you want to do is click U, L. That's the loop tool, loop selection. So as you can see, because if I have a normal one, you can, you can click individually like that, but that's going to take forever. So I'm just going to click U, L. Don't even, you don't need to move your mouse, UL, and now I can select uh, entire loops of the, of the tube. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead, click this, now hold shift, and I'm going to skip to, click, skip to, click. Alright, so let's say I like that. Now what I'm going to do is I'm also going to do it one more time in here. There we go. And one time here then you're gonna right click and you're gonna see this huge whoa this huge list of tools the main tools I use are these four or these five uh, mainly because they're they're the basic ones that everybody uses so what I always start with is extrude you're gonna wanna click and drag towards the left to make it go in and click and drag towards the right to make it go out. So I'm going to have it go out a little bit and then I'm going to right click again, bevel, and I'm going to have it just, let's see. You can obviously play with these settings as much as you like. Uh, I'm just trying to see what I can do here. Oh, this is kind of an awkward angle. There we go. Now we're going to go back to UL. Click, 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 click. Just like that. Oops. 
Oh, damn it. All right, let me set this turn over. It's kind of a pain in the butt, because if you accidentally put your mouse on the wrong uh, tab, you have to start over, because even when you click it again, it doesn't deselect. So there we go. So I've got everything selected. I'm going to go to Matrix Extrude. Now, this is the popular one. Uh, you can go as crazy as you want, but what I'm going to do is I'm going to zoom in so it's more accurate. There we go. So there you go. Now you can see all these spikes are forming. Now that looks absolutely terrible. So actually, I'm not going to use this tool for this selection. I'm going to go ahead and extrude it a bit. Let it come out. I don't know. Well, this model is absolutely terrible, but I'm sure you guys get the idea. So you're going to go like that, and then I'm going to select another one right around on the outside here. One and two, and I'm going to do, oops, matrix extrude, click and drag. There you go. So that brings out these things. That looks terrible. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to play with the different settings here for the matrix extrude. What I usually do is I mess with these settings. Obviously, I want it, I just want it to turn a bit like that. Now we have cups. That looks pretty sick. Then you're just going to want to play with everything. You're just going to want to see what each each one of them does. To be honest, I have not memorized what they all do. So I'm just going to be experimenting as well. So as you can see, it's completely, it's like so abstract. You can come up with anything. So I'm just going to make it kind of small. Let's see. Whoa, no. And yeah, let's see. That looks pretty, that looks pretty nice. Uh, obviously, my logo is a bit kind of in there, so go back to here. Whenever you want to move stuff, you cannot click that. Click back to object. That's object move. <clears throat> that's the uh, that's when you edit it stuff. So drag that out a bit. I'm actually going to make this bigger. So click here, hold shift, and then click and drag, and that makes it bigger or smaller. Just like that. So now that looks, I don't know, that looks pretty terrible, but it's just for the for this tutorial. So uh, I'm just going to show you guys one more thing that I usually do. I usually add more shapes just to make it more unique. So go to capsule. This is what I do. You definitely don't have to do any of this, but it's just a good tip. You're going to want to make the height as long as your logo is. Yes, that looks like a dildo, but ignore that. Make the radius smaller. To about something like that, and then you're gonna wanna let's see, get that closer and put it behind your logo. Like that, increase the height. And then you're gonna wanna copy paste it and rotate it. So that gives it like a pretty nice effect, just like that. And uh you can obviously do whatever you want. This is like completely up to you. People have been asking me, send me send me a template or something. There's no such thing as a template. You make it yourself. Every single one that I've made is different. So because I, I want to make each one of them unique. So there you go. So that's pretty much the idea. Uh, you can uh, play around with the colors as well. I'm going to go ahead and give this a red color like that. I'm not playing with any settings just to make this a short tutorial. Oh, and then one more thing that I forgot to mention is, hold on, I'm going to show you guys right away. What you want to do is when you go to the blue thing right here, you select your tube. You can place, if you click, oops, let's go back to here. Click, hold shift like that, and then you drag a color to it. You can uh, add color to specific parts of your, of your logo. So that can look really nice. So I'm just gonna, <clears throat> that's pretty much the tutorial. Uh, so yeah, everybody's been asking about it. Guys, just go with whatever you feel looks best. There's nothing, I have no opinion on this, mainly because every time I do something different. And one more thing, when you render stuff, what I usually do is I usually select everything, go back to here, and I just drag it back and tilt it like that just because that looks better. And then you just render it as it is, and that looks sick. 
So I'm just gonna add this to a Lightroom, and uh, that's what that's pretty much what you have to do. So, guys, thanks for watching, and drop a like because I've had so many people requesting this tutorial. So see you guys.